Welcome to another Motivictor production. I remain my humble self, your usual narrator, Victor Isibo. Now, today, it's about this man. In case you didn't know, this man is the richest man that has ever walked the surface of the earth. The richest man in history. The richest man that has ever lived. Later on in this video, I will tell you about the historic trip he made to Mecca. Are you excited already? Now, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yes, that is your own way of supporting this channel. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, let us continue. According to a professor of history, University of Michigan, Rudolf Ware, he said, quote, Imagine as much gold as you think a human being could possess and double it. That's what all the accounts are trying to communicate. He said, This is the richest guy anyone has ever seen. Modern day economists put his wealth at $400 billion based on current economic realities. Others believe that his wealth is immeasurable. You cannot quantify the amount of wealth that this man had. Now, this man is known as Mansa Musa. Now, the big question is, who is Mansa Musa? Mansa Musa was a 14th century emperor of the Mali Empire. His elaborate pilgrimage to Mecca that I mentioned earlier took place in 1324, and that was what introduced him to the rulers in the Middle East and in Europe. His leadership of Mali, a state which stretched across 2,000 miles from the Atlantic Ocean to Lake Chad, and which included all or parts of the modern nations of Mauritania, Senegal, Gambia, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, Nigeria, and Chad ensured decades of peace and prosperity in Western Africa. In 1312, Musa became emperor following the death of his predecessor Abu Bakr II. When he was crowned, he was given the name Mansa, meaning king. Mansa Musa was knowledgeable in Arabic. He became the first Muslim ruler in West Africa to journey to Mecca. Preparing for the Mecca trip took him several years. Finally, in 1324, Mansa Musa began his historic pilgrimage to Mecca. And that is the historic pilgrimage that we are going to talk about right now. On his way to Mecca, Mansa Musa passed through Cairo between the year 1324 and 1325. On the 2,700-mile journey, he brought with him a procession of about 60,000 men and 12,000 slaves, each of whom carried a gold bar or staff. The people were accompanied by a caravan of 80 camels, each of which carried around 300 pounds of gold dust. He gave out gold 
in an act of unequaled generosity to everyone he encountered on the journey. Practically everybody Mansa Musa came across, he gave gold. Now, what is the word economy? The word economy was derived from the Latin word economia. Okay, what is economia? Economia is the study of lack. That means you can't have an economy if someone is not lacking. Now, Mansa Musa cancelled lack in Egypt. That is how come he single-handedly bankrupted the economy of Egypt. Because if there is no poverty, there is no economy. There is nothing to study. So Mansa Musa cancelled poverty in Egypt, made gold to be as common as tissue paper. So gold became valueless because every poor person he met, he gave gold. Now, the hyperinflation that his passage through Egypt caused, it took Egypt more than 12 years after his passage to recover from. Now, his trip to Mecca wasn't only about wastage and lavish and extravagant spending. He had a mission and that trip brought immeasurable benefits to his home country of Mali. Upon his return from Mecca, Mansa Musa brought Arab scholars, government bureaucrats, and architects. Among those he returned with was the architect Ishak El Tilgin, who introduced advanced building technologies to Mali. He designed numerous buildings for the emperor, including a new palace named Madagu, the mosque at Gao, the second largest city in Mali, and the still standing great mosque at Timbuktu, which is the largest city in the empire. That mosque was named the Jinguerebe. The pilgrimage wasn't a waste of resources, as some might think. In reality, on the contrary, it brought Mali to the attention of Europe and put Africa on the map. Sadly, Mansa Musa died in the year 1337 after a successful 25-year reign. He was then succeeded by his son, Magan one. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, smash the like button and share this video with people who may not know who the richest man that has ever lived was. Some people may not know that he was actually an African. An African king is actually the richest man that has ever 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 lived according to history thank you for watching this video i remain victor Sibo. till i come your way again with another informative and eye-opening video it is bye for now